you gotta be careful. You could dive too much. And that was too much. Okay, uh, we've learned a little bit of a procedure that we're working on a procedure, but we learned a little bit that we can do a flip-flop. So we changed our pin organization on here a little bit, and we've got it set up so that uh, we can loosen this, we can slip this in here, we can push that pin the other direction, locate that, put this in loosely, semi-tension our tailstock quill, Run it. Come into it on a tight. All right. Now, our cut in the other direction comes in here and does a plunge and then comes over and it cut into the corner. Well, now that's the little plunge there on that side there. Well, we're going to leave that one there for right now and we're going to go ahead and set it for another 10 and we're going to come in and it's going to start on here and it'll plunge, it'll come over, it'll pick up that, come on out. And we're going to work it on down there and uh, then we're going to slowly work a little bit on the inside which will take a little bit more when we get to this radius here and when we get to this radius here. Alright, so this is the process that we're going through now. So, we turn it up, we come on in, give it a little juice, feed another 10,000.
Okay, uh, we're, we've got a new new uh, system here, and uh, down underneath, uh, and I'll show you a little bit later that uh, there's there's a triangle file that I got clamped and tie wired in. They let us come around here, and then come in here, but it's starting to affect this corner. So now we're having to come around here, address this radius right here, freehand back into about 900 thousandths down the path, into here, come around, skim here, and we're starting to catch those radiuses right there. So, and we just made an adjustment. So we're gonna be coming in and we're gonna be kissing this space here because we're gonna start drawing it in because we need, to, we need to widen this in here. It's about 20 thousandths narrow, so we're gonna go ahead. And then whatever's left out here, we're gonna blend into it because everything is set to be duplicate what's down there. So we got a little bit of extra material on here and uh, that'll be skimming and uh, we're doing the flip-flop back and forth back and forth all right i wanted to get in here before i took it all apart because i i did want to uh um go ahead and dismantle this before we start doing any finished work here um in fact i gotta get the the light kind of sitting in here okay all right um we ended up putting a triangle file in here uh, clamped down to a piece of angle which is clamped to a piece of parallel uh, and then the file was a little uh, flimsy up at the top so I put a piece of stainless steel tie wire and tighten that up uh, that got us through the majority of it and then we had to actually start lifting it and then coming back in and plunging it because when it wrapped around this little radius right here, I was wanting to cut too much on the inside. Uh, it's, it's it's all relevant to this angle of this foot here and how it how it follows on the back side. So it, it is pretty temperamental for a uh, stylus here to come in. It, it, you can see here, at, at looking at it from this angle, you can hit and and handle all of these faces and and halfway around the radius, then come in and then hit that angle right or the the diameter you know right in there come in so you can handle diameters certain amount of return uh, radius uh, you just can't come in real real sharp behind a shoulder and uh, you just learn your limitations and we fixed it by just flip flopping the part every couple cuts and uh, we were able to get her done alright I'm gonna pop this out so the stylus is free and I don't have any uh, accidents back here and that is one thing that you got to worry about when you have a tracer attachment is how much you got sticking out here
look good. All right, let's see what diameter we got there. All right, <clears throat> the, I was up here on the crown here and the memory card uh, failed here. Uh, but we, we had the perfect cut. I'm not gonna go any farther than this right here. I'm gonna blend the top of these two with the file. But I want you to pay attention and look at that line right there. That's where that other cut comes in here, plunges and catches on. That is so perfect as far as flipping it. I'm gonna leave it right there. We're about 40 thousandths heavy on the diameter if we want to be exactly like the little one, but we got a good, smooth, even cut. here from the the pattern which was an existing part uh, the spindle pulley and we created his drive pulley uh, using the tracer attachment on the back of the lathe and uh, you know it, it takes a, a little bit of uh, manipulating around and, uh, and, and taking a three-dimensional part and copying it making another three-dimensional part uh, that's what it's all about get it done <laughs>